In the great Northwest, I logged with the best and camped with the bad ones too. Why a logger stayed with the logging trade, I don't think anyone knew. Wear your corks with pride, boy, and stag your pants up high. You'll never log at all, boy, no matter how you try. When I was a little kid, I used to hear these uh, uh, talk about loggers and, and logging, and a, a logger was kind of a, a hero. I used to like this working in the woods because it, it was more adventurous. Uh, now, this was in the earlier days when worked in these logging camps, and, and some of them you could only reach by railroad, you know. And then I just, I just liked those people that worked there, you know. They were my kind of people. They commiserate in their own language. I don't know too many that have this uh, poetic feeling, although there's a lot of poetic loggers, but I never heard it expressed right out there in the woods, you know. It, it just... Uh, uh, Hard, hard work, and, and if you don't look out, it'll kill you. So there ain't much romance in that. Nobody called them boots. They called them cork shoes. Now, boots was, to them, was something the farmer wore when he was cleaning a manure out of the barnyard, you know, and that would be demeaning to a logger. And, uh, yeah, they, they mean a lot, to them shoes. Uh, you're, you're, of course, your, your life depends on those shoes because you don't want that, that foot slipping. The old steam pot there on the hill, her boiler cold, her whistle still. The huge fur sled that held her tight has softened from the weather's might. Back in her young and fruitful day, she'd throb and hiss and pulse away. Her whistles on a morning clear were music to the logger ear. The puncher opened the throttle wide, showering sparks across the countryside. But price and market made her die, a silhouette against the sky. Hey, what do you see that beach up here and all along here? You yeah. know when Mount St. Helens erupted, it swept this whole beach, you know. They, boy, there was cedar galore. There was even so nice cedar that I was a little bit reluctant to get it, you know, because warehouses were flying up and down here with their helicopter. But yeah. They didn't seem to care. I got all my carving wood. I don't know if I'm self taught or not because I bought anatomy books. Because the more you know about the bone structure, the better you can carve, see. Once you can run, handle that chainsaw, the rest is form. And you can't teach form. I had a strange feeling like I gave that wood life. 